Have you ever wondered how to find cute clothes at thrift stores? Well, keep watching because in this video, I'm going to be showing you my favorite tips and advice on how to thrift like a pro. Number one is to make a list of everything you're looking for before you go to the thrift store. This can help you keep an eye out for the specific things you want to find and can help you waste less time at the thrift store. For example, on my list, I have some items that I'm searching for as well as a few colors to look out for. Number two is to look at everything. What I do is I usually start at my size rack and just quickly flip through every item. And then if I see a color or pattern that catches my eye, I go back and look at the item. It's also a good idea to look at other size racks because sometimes things get misplaced or you can find good oversized and differently fitting pieces as well. Number three is going thrifting at a good time. It's best to go thrifting usually on weekdays when it's less busy and some stores have days when they bring out new items so it's best to go on those days. I personally go thrifting really often so sometimes it's just whenever I can go. However, if you wanna find the best pieces possible, it's better to plan when you're going accordingly. Zoe just found this super cute sweater and I think I'm gonna get it because it's really cute. And I was looking for a grandpa sweater. Love it, that's why you look through everything, folks. That's why. Number four is don't give up. Sometimes I go to the thrift store and I don't find anything, but other times I've found some of my favorite items in my closet, so persistence is key to finding good stuff. That is kind of cute. The only thing is I kind of have something like similar to it. Like is adorable. That is really cute. Number five is don't fall prey to the first find effect. Sometimes when you're not finding anything good at the thrift store and you come across a piece that's okay, you're more compelled to purchase that piece because you didn't actually find anything that's really good. Then when you get home, you realize you're never actually going to wear the piece and it will just sit in your closet as a result of buyer's guilt. This is what I call the first find effect. So what I do to make sure this doesn't happen is I ask myself, am I looking for this just because I can't find any really good pieces? As well as, do I love this piece and would I realistically wear it? I personally have way too many pieces in my closet from the first find effect. So try your best to avoid it. And I'm yes, only, okay. take this. Yep, this is a first find, my folks. You can also find really good craft stuff at thrift stores. Number six is go with friends. I like thrifting with friends because they can show you cute items that you wouldn't have otherwise seen. While sometimes it's best to go thrifting with a friend with a contrasting style, I find that thrifting with friends makes the whole experience much more fun. So we found this pair of overalls, which is They're really cute. cute. And They're they are like cute. my perfect size and I've been looking for overalls for like ever. Is this cute? Zoe, is this cute? No? Okay. Another tip when you're thrifting is to always bring a hand sanitizer because it's really helpful and your hands feel kind of gross from like touching everything. Okay guys, so this might not seem like a big deal to any of you guys, but I've been searching for the perfect pair of overalls for like two years. Zoe, I love you. They don't say it enough. But these are so freaking cute, right? Like. They're like kind of like slouchy and like, I'm so excited about these. We're going on a trip to Universal, so I might wear them in January. Also with this shirt, you guys use these thrifting tips and you can find overalls and other cool stuff. That's all of my thrifting tips for today, so good luck and happy thrifting.